Garcia immediately looking to establish the jab and caught by the guard of Davis. Well, when I mean backing up, he's using his angles. He's moving side to side, not staying on the ropes. Of this cautious start to the first round, there's the jab from the Southpaw Davis, who has Floyd Mayweather in attendance here tonight. Uh, Davis said he thought he, while he is normally cautious in his starts, as we pointed out, he was going to try and be a little more aggressive in the early rounds. Even Davis said, I don't want to walk into something, and neither does Garcia. Make a mistake, because whoever does make the mistake is going to pay dearly. And there's that hand speed. Jab lands for Garcia at the end of the round. They both had zeros when it came to power punches landed in the first three minutes. Ooh. And, it, and it, it turns out Garcia's the first one to try to land power punches, and he's doing it there. And Garcia putting the pressure on Davis, landing the right and left, and Davis trying to hold on. And, and he's doing that fairly well, and boy, a lot of holding on his side. All the pundits, all the scouts everywhere online, they, they say that Garcia had to take advantage of Davis's slow starts, whether delivered or not. Davis has to be careful. He was looking at the referee. You got to protect yourselves at all times. And he's on, he just ducked underneath that left hook. But got oh. oh, what a shot! What a missile strike by Davis! And just like that! And that's the one thing they were worried about in the Garcia camp. Oh, and he hits him again with that left through the guard. Left hook by Garcia. And again, Davis beginning to feel it now with that left hand. A nightmare scenario second stands up for Garcia. He was doing good. You want to pressure Davis like you are right now with that jab. Keep him busy, but don't overcommit or do not oh. force something that is not there. So quick with that lead left hand from the hip. Gervonta Tank Davis. And they want him to fight taller. And there Davis with the lead foot to the outside of Garcia, allowing him to close the gap. Davis throws a lazy jab. That's when you want to take it the little step back and, and counter him with that. That hook, but right now Davis is really fast with that jab. Yeah, he puts straight back like he's doing right now. You don't want to do that. Davis is my time that. There's that left hook to the body by Garcia. Davis looking to let him the lead right hook there. Pops the jab. Yeah, he didn't overcommit it. He he fainted. He didn't see anything. He didn't take it, and then he took it because he saw it. So that's that's how you do it. Garcia backing himself into corner. Fires off the right hand. Goes for the hook, and then moves to his left. There's a straight right by Garcia. And what was the 2020 knockout of the year? Dropping and stopping Leo Santa Cruz for the first time as... That's a good way to take the jab away from Garcia as well. Oh, what Davis is doing right now. Left hook to the body by Garcia. Good job of fainting by Davis and able to pull counter like Floyd Mayweather. The Garcia left hook is not a factor right now, and that's a problem for him because that is the weapon. And if Garcia doesn't, uh, you know, if Davis doesn't attack too much, uh, the left hook can't get there as a check yeah. hook. He's got to let go of that right hand. And he just did when you were mentioning it there. Yeah. The right hand is lethal for the for the softball. See, now there was an attempt at a hook because Davis is starting to attack a little more. We'll see the check hook more as Davis comes in. There's Whether to land, we don't know. Jab from Davis, stiff jab. Scores for Davis. There's a right hand from Garcia. And it's a lead right hand. Davis continues to win the foot battle. Closing the distance for his trademark left. And there it is. To seek and destroy or to box. Oh, right hand by Garcia inside at the end of the fourth. He's placing his foot where he wants to. He lets go of, let go of his hands when he needs to. And of course, if you're Ryan Garcia, you still believe that you can turn this, even though you might be losing some rounds, that your power can make a difference in this fight. There's that left hook that landed, that one just missed, but Garcia shows up as Davis lands the left, goes to the body, under a minute left in the fifth. Sharp jab by Garcia. Doing a better job of keeping his right hand high against Luke Campbell, that wasn't the case. It's Ryan Garcia. And Calvin Ford has done an exceptional job with Gervonta Tank Davis. 
And people wondered, would that be good for him or bad for him or to keep him sharp? So far, things are working out very well for him. Remember, he falls. Oh, there's a right hand that caught oh, Davis. Yeah. Another right hand, and Garcia with his best moments of the fight. I'll wait for the biggest fight of my life. Thank you very much. Yeah. And you know, those right hands Garcia landed were good ones. And Davis yeah. now moving forward because he wants to try and... He wants to try and take the play away. He's uncomfortable, and he was at the moment, and he said no. And that's almost Davis showing Garcia a way, for showing him that, he, you know, you're not in the fight. But he's, the ones he's landed have been oh, good. And there's a strike right down the middle for Garcia. A minute left here in the sixth straight left for Davis. Look at those fans from Davis not committing when he doesn't need to. 45 seconds left. Garcia coming close. And in, a, in these rounds with low output and not that many punches landed, the difference is which punches are more effective. And this round is a perfect example. You have to decide. And let's not forget, Davis did say, I don't want to knock him out. I want to punish Ryan Garcia. Yeah, and then the good thing that Davis saw that because, because that... Oh, oh, I didn't see that. He didn't see that, yeah. You know, this is an adjustment by yes. Garcia. He knows the left hook isn't getting there. And Joe Goosen told him after round one, you got to get to that right hand, and he's doing it. Straight left hand lands for Davis. Alicia Owen there, Garcia comes in, scores with the right hook, left hand combination. Yeah, that's one of the first left hooks, and that wasn't a dynamite left hook, but it was one of the few left hooks he's been able to get in. Another left hook and a right hand by Garcia. And now, oh, Garcia forced to take a knee. We're going to see the, the quick reaction from Tank Davis. Boom, well timed, right right in the liver. Boom, Ryan Garcia is trying to suck that up, but he can't. His leg reaction, his body, body shutting down, and he just took a knee. It didn't look like he was even positioned, Davis, to get a lot of leverage on that left hand. Oh. And, but he got more than enough and, and he, landed it at yeah, the perfect spot. The correct? perfect spot. And then the crazy thing and is that... And he knew it. Davis knew it. Yeah, nobody thought that Dank Tank Davis was going to stop Ryan Garcia with a body shot. No. Maybe a head shot, maybe knock him out, but stop him with and, a body shot. Wow. And it was a left hook by the yeah. southpaw yeah. that did it, making the liver quiver and stopping <laughs> Ryan Garcia. He is the winner by way of knockout and still undefeated, Javante Tank.